All right, what's up, strangers? It's your boy, I guess. The guy who keeps forgetting what to say, literally in every single sentence. And in today's video, I was basically just really bored, and I started testing around with many guns, because, duh, obviously, you need to actually switch some things up, and, and eventually, you will find something that you'll start to like. And then I found the Vector, which I completely forgot about, alongside maybe, like, the Uzi or Luger, I mean, nobody even uses Luger, so it's more or less likely that everyone will forget about that. But... I started to think, well, the Victor did receive quite a lot of buffs, and I have heard a lot of people saying, or a few people saying, that the Vector was starting to become very decently good at the game. So I tried it out, and I would have to say that it definitely lives up to its name of it being a Vector, as in more or less, that it starts to actually demolish zombies HP, or the infected HP, whichever phrase you want to call them, or name you want to call them. And... What I noticed is that the burst fire feature, which basically is like a one-shot sniper thing, um, it basically allows to hit zombies' headshots to like 30 to 60 or 80 damage in the head. Meaning you have a makeshift kind of sniper rifle with an SMG that demolishes zombies' HP from close range, and you have a sniper that literally demolishes zombies from far range, uh, farther away range, Mean, basically meaning that you will basically kill and demolish zombies from afar and they'll be confused on how you will have a sniper and you have a submachine gun that demolishes health with just one gun or just not even with just a gun and you have like an RPG or a pistol as your second in which they will be very confused and I started testing it out more and more and I realized that this gun is stronger and stronger the more you use it and get skilled by hitting the head and hitting all your shots completely this gun demolishes riots on its regular auto fire riots, um, juggernauts, banshees as well. If they're like standing still while using their ability, you can quickly take the time to shoot them in the head and spray them and basically demolish their entire HP to where they only have like 300 HP left. And you can also um, destroy, um, what's it called, infernos, chillers, and many infected. This gun is incredibly powerful, and I haven't seen many people use it, mostly because I'm pretty sure nobody really has it these days, or probably because everyone continues to think that it's just a really bad weapon and everyone's using Robux weapons, which is pretty um, reasonable, because I do use the Tommy Gun, and Tommy Gun's my favorite weapon, and will probably always be, unless they actually change something again, which is 100% most unlikely. I mean, come on, what could they do this time? But alongside that, the Vector is incredibly powerful, plus with its headshot damage and its burst fire thing, and it just destroys Infected's HP, especially Juggernauts, because they're shooting him in the head with the, a full auto, and with the amount of spraying and fire, um, what's it called, fire rate, rate of fire, you can literally kill thousands of zombies and not even feel the least like amount of damage, because technically you're just destroying them and they can't really hit you. Combine this with either light armor or what's it called, speed armor, you're literally gonna just going to become a disease that nobody really wants to play as. But yeah, this is probably going to be the only time I'm actually going to use this weapon, because it's still a really strong weapon, but I'll probably use it again some other time. But really, this weapon is incredibly powerful, and I'm surprised nobody has really noticed that the burst fire is a headshot, um, what's it called, multiplayer is a really deadly meaning you can just snipe zombies from afar within like two or three shots really spitters um spitters regular zombies crawlers screw the crawlers really and basically you have a sniper and a mini gun combined into a small submachine this gun is absolutely crazy now on the tier list which one would i would i place it on s a b c d and f tier i'm pretty sure there's an e tier i'm not too sure but which one would I place it on? It has to be either on S tier or A tier, somewhere around there. But I think it might be like in the first place of like A tier kind of, because technically it does run out of ammo fast, and plus you know many people have it, but if you do have it, then of course it is super strong, and you would probably place it like on CS tier. And I don't really, um, what's it called, disagree, because that gun is incredibly powerful these days. And if you guys enjoyed it, then I guess, I don't know, like or something like that though, but yeah, I'll see you guys all in three decades.